Most home buyers have no idea what to look for when shopping for houses. Dan is going to share with you two things that are not so obvious next on Real Estate Pro Tips. I'm Ben Bellack, Beverly Hills Super Realtor, joined by Dan Hendricks, friend, colleague, team member, rock star. Dan actually put a deal under contract the first day he joined our team. Yeah, that's right. My last name is Hendricks, so I have to keep up that rock star mentality. So, Are you talking about Jimi Hendrix? Jimi Hendrix, that's right. Have you heard of him? I have heard of him. It's actually the first song I learned to play on the guitar was Hey Joe. Okay. But I didn't, I, when I was thinking rock star, I was thinking like performer. I guess I've dated myself. Anyway, moving forward, Dan, tell us some of the non obvious things buyers should be looking for when they are in showings or at open houses. Uh, the first good thing to look for is cracks in the home. Now, mm. there's always going to be cracks that you're going to find in the home. So if you find them, don't freak out. But pay attention to if they're vertical or horizontal. Vertical cracks are typically more common and associated with things like settling. And horizontal can be a little bit more serious and be associated with things like structural issues. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously we want to defer to our home inspectors, which we help our clients book. And we are not structural engineers. However, over time, the Inspectors really have pointed us towards major red flags versus minor red flags. And when you see horizontal cracks in the walls when you're walking around, definitely something to make a note of, uh, not necessarily an indicator to hit eject, but something you want to point out to either your real estate agent you know, and or the inspector. Dan, tell us another thing that isn't so obvious that people should be looking for. Um, definitely pay attention to the lots surrounding the home that you're interested in. So the neighbors. The neighbor's lots. Okay. Yes, that's right. Um, the key component here is you want to pay attention if they are dilapidated, old, maybe they're vacant looking and completely unkept. Um, the reason for this being is that you don't want to be in a position where you move in and then a year or two later, all of a sudden these properties are being built up and you're losing your privacy and even your views. Or your neighbor could be like one of those people that has like 25 cats. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> that could pose a pretty large issue as well. Hopefully uncommon though. Look, the thing is, is if someone tears down an awful house next to you, probably not that big of a deal because it's likely going to sell for something mm -hmm. um, and yeah. add equity to your house. But yeah. it could be like a three year construction project where you're surrounded by noise and dust and in some towns like ours you, they can work monday through saturday so mm -hmm. um definitely something to certainly be aware of that's a good one so i think the overarching kind of headline here that dan is trying to convey is to you know look around aside from the staging aside from the interior design yeah. kind of look around because your home is not just the inside it's it's the property it's the structural piece of it underneath it above it so with that um, if you have any questions uh, or you're looking to buy or sell in Los Angeles, Beverly Hills, Malibu, the Hollywood Hills, we're going to put Dan in mind information up on the screen here. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you next week.